Okay, we are back. And, uh, we are ready to rumble. Alright, let's go talk to Warren. He seems like a cool guy. I'm gonna turn off my microphone for the next little bit. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Max, come on over here! Warren is out and about already, too. Looks like he's waiting for somebody. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting? For a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Yes. 
Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Yep, I'm ready to cash my lottery ticket. She looks busy and stressed. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. Hope nobody steals my lottery ticket. Can't wait to be rich. Yep. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay, crusty fisherman. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind, but I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Locals. 
have returned. I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. That guy's a dick. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family, when we were happy. I don't want to go that way. Fine, be that way. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. The only Blackwell I know is David Blackwell, a mathematician and a theoretical economist. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Alright, what's here in the back?
I don't want to go that way. And I'm behind the RV. Uh, stop that! Stop! No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. I'll find out later. Alright, I think that's the right angle for the photo. Now, let's go inside. Breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Now oh, that brings back memories. Chloe and I loved the parade. Good lord, talk about apocalyptic. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. These fishermen are so damn quiet. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. I always wonder what people think about when they eat alone. To you, such a beautiful day, eh? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? So much to interact with. Oh, man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. So much interaction. All right, let's keep interacting with things. This guy has serious corners. Why does that so not sound fun? I might make Chloe check this out with me. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. That graffiti has been here forever. Gross. Oh look, a Twin Peaks reference. I really should watch Twin Peaks at some point. Thank you, redneck poet. That guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Mad. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. No, I've been here many times. It's like a fourth home. <laughs> I wish I could make the two whales my first home. Joyce making rocket coffee or juicy burgers at a time? Mm. <laughs> you look about Chloe's age. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. So, you know Chloe? 
Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with partner room. That's not good. Anyway, mm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? I know her. Then you know she's a handful. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Just curious. I'm surprised he's not a police officer in Arcadia Bay. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> not everybody can be a cop. I have That's to go good now. to know. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Uh, David Madsen sounds like he'd make a good, uh, a good Ferguson cop. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass, like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Ah, uh, that's a weirdo. Can't tell if he's joking or not. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me at the dorm. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. That sounds, uh, not true. Justin is such a mellow dude. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You baked should be studying, in the morning. bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor right finally there. told me about him and Dana hooking up. But Trevor is sitting right in front of you. So I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. But they're, they're standing right next to each other. Why are they talking as if the other one isn't there? Drool. Want everything. I like diners. I know it sounds lame, but I like diners. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. I got you, babe. <laughs> How apropos. But no fucking way. Let's go for banjos. That's 
funny. Our family never went whale watching. It looks fun. Okay. Let's go through this cutscene here and then, uh... And there she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. Hmm. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? Well, Chloe texted me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful, and he will be punished. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. That's no excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess... I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Belgian waffles. Oh, yeah. The last Great, good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Coffee drinking 18 year olds. Alright, cool. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock. Nerd graffiti. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Breakfast cheeseburger. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Look at you, philosophizing, whatever. 
Um. All right, I think we're good for now. So I'm gonna exit the game. That was fun. Let's do this again some other time.